Listen, listen. You think you know wine? You think you know wine? You trying to get some good wine? Yo, these wine tips are the best. We're talking about a whole nother week. You're gonna love this wine. Make the wine, be the wine. Woo! Yo! <laughs> hey there, happy pals. My name's Bronco Buckner, and if you're like me, well, you're scrambling at the last minute on New Year's to buy yourself some nice wines. I was taking care of my kid last night, and I drank all of my wine. Grandma was over, right? And she gets tipsy, and she does what she does, smashing bottles of wine. We all know Santa works in mysterious ways, but he's also kind of a dick, and he stole my wine. What you could do is say, hey guys, I bought you a fancy bottle of wine, and they're gonna look at it in snuff. I'm gonna teach you how to make some very simple wines in less than five minutes, all using items from your own home. Some may even say they taste better. Woo! This first wine I'm gonna teach you today is the easiest wine to make. And honestly, it's my favorite beginner wine. Just need a little bit of Tito's and a little bit of cranberry sauce. If we're talking economy, Tito's and cranberry juice is gonna be your best wine. Because Tito's is healthier, you're gonna to wanna to put it on the bottom of the drink. Just give ourselves a nice, you know, one or two parts Tito's. And that's about one part, two part Tito's. You can do one part, two part spray. As easy as that, a great wine for any of your friends to enjoy. And it only took about what, six minutes at max. Now that's some hot wine. A delicate balance between alcohol and fruit is what makes a great wine. You could try to age this wine, but I'd say your friends would probably drink it first. Okay. Yeah! The next wine is birthday cake wine. Now you see we got a lot of desserts. Whipped cream, cherry, lime, and I know what you're saying. I haven't heard of whipped cream on wine. Well, you're playing in the wrong league because our wines get wild. So a little Stella, a lime, some maraschino cherries. For a good wine, this is all you need. The whipped cream is just for show. A lot of people like to look down on birthdays. I'm not gonna celebrate that. I'm gonna celebrate my own holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas, but your own birthday is one that you gotta cherish. You gotta, you know, it's the only holiday that you have. Boom, Stella, you see that, now the cherries. Industry trick, you, if you don't want any cherries, you just hold them back with the spoon. Don't let them get out. Look at that. And we'll add a few cherries. But is any birthday cake really complete without just a touch of zest? What we gotta do, add a whole lime straight into the mix. Birthday appetit. Fantastic. Get the lemon and cherry juices stirring. You're gonna wanna blow when you're, you know, tr back transferring the drinks again. Now, you're not gonna know if there's less and less froth each time, but guess what we got? We already talked about it, the whipped cream. You always wanna add a little whipped cream for that froth and just for a little bit of comic relief. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> boy, if that ain't wine. I used to drink this all the time. This wine can be really fun. This wine can be really fun. This wine would be good. If just shut up. You thought, yo, you thought I was done with wine? Well, guess what? Bronco's not done, Buck. So here's wine tip. Before I teach you about my last wine, there's three things you should know. Don't mess around with old ass Italian, French, and California aged wine. It sucks. Dick. Just use an old grape. Try something from the year 2017. If there's one wine to top the list of the best new wines in 2017, it's got to be my own recipe. Pig Boys, Top Dollar, Squealing Grape, Off the Chain Monster Hog Wine. First things first, you're gonna wanna have about a clutch of grapes. Take these grapes, pour them right into the glass, and boom, now that the grapes are inside, let's add our Everclear. The slosh and a half to two sloshes should do it. Once you got the Everclear in there, all you need to do is mash up all those pesky grapes. The more grapes, the better wine. That's what you figure out in cooking school. Ask any wine aficionado, they're not gonna know about this. Ask anyone who knows about wine, this will take them by surprise. Now it's starting to look like a red. Oh, wow, that's the beauty. But, you thought it was over? That's right. We're taking a little bit of my secret ingredients. So there's some wine. <laughs> Double down on wine. Wow. Four, three, two, I drink it early. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everybody. Wow. Most of your friends will try to convince you that in order to get some good wine, you're gonna have to spend 10 plus dollars on a bottle. But for just a little bit of cash, you can make some of the best wines on the market currently in your own house in under five minutes. Now let me ask you, is that better than some old stinky wine? I don't think so. Yeah. Hey, if you like these wines, make sure to tune in next week where we'll be making chicken wings out of rats.
That's enough. That's good. That's good.